Shine on me, Jesus. Shine on me, Jesus. Who is like you in power and glory? Who is like you, majestic and splendorous? Who is like you? In beauty and radiance, my Jesus, the shining one. Who is like you in power and glory? Who is like you, majestic and splendorous? And who is like you? In beauty and radiance, my Jesus, the shining. Can I lift your voice with us? Sing, who is like you, yeah. tonight. Come on, clap your hands and celebrate him. Hallelujah. I 
of Israel's host, our Lord of hosts, the King of Zion, the one who was and is and is to come, our Alpha and Omega, our beginning and our end, our Lord Elohim, our Lord Adonai, our Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shekinah, Jehovah, our Shalom, the one who gives us peace. This morning, let's lift a prayer unto him. For he has been our God. He has been our shield and he has been our buckler. He has protected us even in this time. When the situation is getting worse, we are not being affected. Only because we have protection under his wing. Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it unto him and they are saved. Abandindini enyang kupon na hotifu jane kotwara de no nyangwa. For we have come to the heavenly Jerusalem. Oh, where we have found salvation for our souls. In times like this, where the world cannot understand, we understand because we have the great explainer who explains things to us. Who comforts us and gives us peace? Oh, in tumultuous times like this, He continues to be our God. He gathers us like the hand that is is shaken and protects us from the enemy. Oh, from the hogs and the eagles. This morning we want to thank you, oh God. Our Lord, we bless you this morning. I want you to join us wherever you are, beloved, from your home. To lift up thanksgiving like never before. To give him praise like never before. This morning with one heart and one accord. Oh, be gra- show your gratitude unto him. Be thankful unto him. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Every be was it that ya and Kawona made ma wo to no face every be was it that ya and Kawona made ma wo to We thank you, our Lord and our God, 
for in our limited and finite words, we are not able to carve anything else to thank you and to bless you. And so with our words, we say, God, thank you this morning. We worship you this morning and we bless your holy name for all that you have done, for what you continue to do and what you are about to do in our lives. We thank you for love and protection and for peace. We thank you that you continually guide us even in times like this. Into your hands do we put our lives and we know that we are safely grounded in you. This morning, may you be with us even as we come to your throne of grace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, wherever you are, I want you to join us as we dance to God, as we cheer ourselves up even for what he has done and for what he's about to do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Onya mese. Onya mese. Mama ya tonyo mi eradia ya. Onya mese. Aye. Mama ya tonyo mi eradia ya. Onya mese. Aye. Mesi onya mese. Aye. E jonya mese. Oh my, I told you, me a radia, yeah. Oh, yeah, me say, I hear you. Oh, my, I told you, me a radia, yeah. Oh, yeah, me say, I hear you. Oh, oh, yeah, me say, I hear you. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah, oh, so. Oh, my, I told you, me a radia, yeah. Oh, yeah, me say, I hear you. Oh my, I told you, me a radia, yeah. Oh, God, me say, yeah. Ooh, oh, that's a new. Guide you, yeah, me, why am I? Ooh, me, fan, I see, man, ooh. Me, fan, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's a new. Oh, that's a new. Guide you, yeah, me, why am I? Hallelujah. And so does the name. Ah, I Yes, I am a woman. I say, Lord, you are so good. God, you are kind. You are wonderful. God, you are wonderful. My Lord, you are so good. you are so good. So good. God, you are kind. Indeed, you are wonderful. God, you are wonderful. Oh, 
wonderful, my Lord. You are Sing, Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. So good. Lord, you are God. Lord, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are. She said you are so good. Lord, you are so good. My God, you are so kind. Lord, you are God. Indeed, you are wonderful. Lord, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent is thy name. Excellent is thy name. Yeah, yeah. Excellent is thy name. You are wonderful. Lord, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent is thy name. Excellent is thy name. Yeah, yeah. Excellent is thy name. You are wonderful. Lord, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent. And so, my God. You are so good. Hey, Lord, you are kind. God, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are, Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are so good. Hey, Lord, you are kind. You are wonderful. God, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent. Oh, I will lift up your name. Fire. Clap wherever you are and lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up his name. Lift up his name in joy. Oh, I will lift up your name. Fire. I will lift up your name. Fire. Sing it, I will lift up your name. Fire. I will lift up his name. Fire. I will lift up your name. Fire. Sing it, I will lift up your name. Jehovah, you are wonderful. I will lift up your name. Hey, great Jehovah, you are wonderful. I will lift up your name. Great Jehovah, great Jehovah, you are wonderful. I will lift up your name. Great Jehovah, great Jehovah, you are wonderful. I will lift up your name. Great Jehovah, you are wonderful. Wonderful are his words, all oh, his words shall praise him. His mercies over us, all oh, his words shall praise him. Sing it wonderful, wonderful are his words, his mercies over us, all oh, his words shall praise him. Wonderful, wonderful are his words. Yeah, yeah. We sing great our Lord God and greatly to be praised. His mercy is over us, all his words shall praise. We sing great is our Lord God and greatly to be praised. His mercy is over us, all his words shall praise. Praise. Wonderful, wonderful are His words. Yeah, yeah. Are his words shall praise Him. Ah. His mercies over us. For His words shall praise Him. Oh, my Lord is good. I will lift Him up higher. Everywhere I go, I will lift Him up higher. Say, the Lord is good. I will lift Him up higher. Everywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Oh, Jehovah is good. I will lift him up higher. Everywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Say, the Lord is good. I will lift him up higher. Everywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Oh, lift him up. Higher. Lift him up. Higher. 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 Lift him up. Higher. 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 Higher.
Ugamano Goma Yesu Dino Suna Wadiku Nisa Safo Nisa Safo Ma Mungo Sema Yanisho Anyo Nyam Anyo Nyam Ugamano Nisa Safo Nisa Safo Ma Mungo Sema Yanisho Anyo Nyam Anyo Kisoasafoma, what can you boy? What does she have? 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 Wakashida hamu wada boshi boko meto wakashida hamu wada aboshi wakeleba ya wakeleba ya lu wakeleba ya wakeleba ya lu wakeleba ya I won't lift him up higher Everywhere I go I won't lift him up higher Come on, begin to lift his name up high Bless his name Worship him Lift his name up high Lift his name up high Father, we bless your name Libranda Harabo, Shandelebe, Kabayanda Hari Bahanda, Saitada Baha Lebelebo, Shandili Bahande, Labo Hosi Branda Baha, Kabrande Lebelebe, Saitada Baha, Inderebo Hosi Branda Lebelebe, Kabo Hosandili Bahande, Labranda Baha Saitadi Ababa, Lebaya Kandelebe, Libo Hosande Lebelebe, Saitada Baha Rabrande Lebo Hosanda, and Abaha. Father, we lift your name up high, O oh God. We worship you this morning, O oh God. Father, everywhere we go, we will lift your name up high because you are God. Libranda Helebo Shandi Libaha, Rabayan de Lebe, Saitadaba, Cabranda Baraba, Lebelebo Shandi Libaha, Sian de Lebe, Saitadaba, Lebaya Candelebe, in the Nebo Hoshi Branda Baha, Saitadaba. Tada baha, bala bala be, shandi li baha de, rabo si krianda da baha, sai tada baha ne le bo, shandi li baha, la bo ho si brande, kabaya da ha, rabo shandi li baha. Oh Lord, bless your name, O God. When you nyama shrey, aso. See when you're
the Lord for he is good. His faithfulness, love endures forever. Has the Lord redeemed you? Then speak out. Tell others he has redeemed you from your enemies. For he has gathered the exiles from many lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in the wilderness, lost and homeless, hungry and thirsty. They nearly died. Lord, help, they cried in their trouble, and he rescued them from their distress. He led them straight to safety, to a city where they could live. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. This morning, what is your praise about? 
some praise him because they almost and nearly died and they were safe we praise him because of his love because he is wonderful he's glorious there is no one like him just think of where you started and where you began this year and how he has been faithful to you he has sustained you just lift up worship and bless his name give him all the glory the God you are wonderful you are worthy oh Lord there is no one like you oh God we bless your mighty name oh God Father, we bless your name, Liboho Shibrandaha, Rabo Shandi Libahan de Lebea, Cabranda Boho Shibranda Daba, Saita Daba Lebaya Candelebea, in the Reboho Shandi Libahashi Bahana, Raboho Shibranda Bekebeandea, Labahan de Lebea, Father, the angels worship your name. They said, Holy are you, Lord of God. Father, take your glory, Liboho Shibranda. Father, we put now our burden, O oh God, and we lift up worship. Father, we lift up praise, O oh God, because you are mighty, O oh God. Anything that is a burden unto us, O oh God, release it. Father, Lord, and we put on our tongue praise and words that will magnify your name. The Lord of heaven's armies, O oh God, the angels worship your name you are holy and holy and holy oh God the Bible makes me understand that when they lifted up their voice oh God that they shook the foundations of the temple father we lift up our voice to praise your name we lift up our voice to worship you this morning oh God and we make you greater oh God that our enemies will get to know that we serve a living God Oh Jesus, oh God, we bless your name for your love endureth forever, oh God. You have been faithful unto us, oh Lord. Therefore, we will praise your name, oh God. We bless your name, Jesus. Just think of his goodness. Just think of how mighty he is. Wherever you are, just think of it, think of him, how great he is, that he's on his throne, there is no one like him.
Oh, yes, Lord. oh, we have yes, come to you, O oh God, yes, to proclaim your majesty. Yes, for words cannot describe your beauty and your wonder. Yes, and I was seeing yes, and with the cherubims and the seraphims, we come unto you, O oh God, with worship and praise in our heart. Unto you, O oh God, who sits above the thrones of heaven, above the wings of the cherubims and the seraphims, we bow down in worship of your holy name and say, There is none like you. Receive your glory, O oh God. Receive your praise, O oh God. This morning, may you be praised. May your name be adored. And may your word reside in the heart of man. That you alone are God. We thank you. We bless you. We worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, have we prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wherever you are right now, I just want you to be in the spirit right now. Just be in the spirit. Ponder over the goodness of the Lord. For he is God. He alone is God. Just worship his name. Glorify him wherever you are. Shala brando shala gabayata e pagando she eli malahadu jale baladu jale branda hadi kada bada balata le vele jeke bagadi oh jesus shada da bosha li branda bala grando shada baragata
Lord of days, rain, rain, and there is none like you, Lord. Ancient of days, rain, rain, so you are God. This part. It says, 
You've got time, son. Seasons in your hands. Father, we bless your name. You called for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen to call me your own. You've got time, son. Hey, seasons in your head. You called for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen to call us your own. And you are God. Caught for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen to call me your own. You've got time and seasons in your head. You call for light out of darkness. And you don't need a man to be the God you are. You have chosen to call me. Oh, you are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There is no place. God all by yourself. Oh, you are God. You are God. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God all 
by yourself. Oh, you are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place, There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Indeed, God is the God from beginning to the end. Beloved, wherever you are right now, you want to put your hands together for this great I am God. Put your hands together for the almighty God. Oh, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. The God that we serve has kept us from January 1st all the way to today. November 22nd, we are some few days away uh, to the end of this year. Hasn't God done as good? Hallelujah. Hasn't God done as good? Hasn't God done as good? Oh, if you believe with me, I want you to lift up your voice and shout unto the Most High God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Beloved, may the peace, the grace of God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ uh, be unto you all, wherever you are watching us, uh, from the comfort of your homes, wherever you find yourself, even if you are on break at work and you, are, you have tuned in and watching us, may the grace and that same peace of God, our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be multiplied unto you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Beloved, are you victorious? Do you feel that in your spirit that you are victorious this morning? Hallelujah. Oh, the Bible tells us that clap your hands, all ye people, and sing to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. So I want with one round again, be on your feet wherever you are, and with a mighty clap offering and a shout, you want to shout and clap to the Most High God like somebody who has just won a victory. Oh, you want to do better than that? Clap unto the Most High God. Makandalabos. We thank God so much uh, for His grace and His mercies that are new on us every morning. Amen. This morning, God has a message for us. And um, the message is titled, God Has Not Forgotten About You. Hallelujah. I want to turn to your neighbor who is sitting by you. If you are just by yourself at home, uh, you want to just say that God has not forgotten about me. But if you have a neighbor, tell them that God has not forgotten about you. Hallelujah. Oh, do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? <laughs> Beloved, this year has been a very interesting year. Hallelujah. And uh, many things have gone on. But we know and we are sure that once we are children of God, Oh, whatever situation we find ourselves, victory is ours. Hallelujah. And this morning, God is here. God is, is, is telling me to tell us all that uh, he has not forgotten about us. Hallelujah. He still has us on his mind. He still has us on his mind. I would like us to open our Bibles to Philippians, the first chapter and the sixth verse. Philippians, the first chapter, and the sixth verse. If you have your Bibles with you, please turn to Philippians, the chapter number one, reading from verse six. Amen. God has not forgotten about you. I'm reading the NIV rendering of the scripture, and it says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you, will carry it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul is saying that he is confident of this. Hallelujah. And I hope you also have the same confidence this morning. He says that the God who began a good work in you and I, hallelujah, when we accepted him as our Lord and personal Savior, he said that his work in us is not done. Hallelujah. And he's very sure 
that the God that we have come to serve, the God that we have come to know, will carry his good work to completion. Hallelujah. Because the God that we serve is what? The song said, as we just uh, heard before I just came, it says that the God that we serve is from beginning to the end. Hallelujah. One of his characteristics or one of his nature is that when he starts something, he brings it to end. Hallelujah. And I pray this morning that whatever God has started in your life, he'll bring it to an end. Hallelujah. Whatever God has started in your life, he'll bring it to an end. Don't let the year 2020 uh, 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 shut your, your faith and your belief in God and in the ability of our Lord to bring us to the place of rest. The place where he says that to his people Israel that I'm bringing you out of misery and I'm taking you into a place which is filled with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Oh, I, if you believe, shout a big amen. So the Apostle Paul said to the people of uh, 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 Philipp uh, Philippian that he is confident of this God that he has come to know. That when he starts a good work, he will bring it to an end. This morning, I want us to look at a very similar situation in the Bible, a story in the Bible which we are very familiar of. And we want to look at that and use it as a case for what our theme or the title of this message that God has for us is saying that he has not forgotten about us. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles again, please turn to Exodus and the third chapter. Exodus chapter 3. We want to read Exodus chapter 3. If you have your Bibles, please turn to Exodus the third chapter. Amen. We are starting our reading from verse 1. It says that now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law. Hallelujah. Beloved, this was at the time of Moses when he had enjoyed all kinds of wealth and all kinds of privileges as a prince in the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. And then looking at how his own people were being treated by the Egyptians, he decided to flee. Hallelujah. He left Egypt and he was wandering in the wilderness. And then he came into contact with some women who were sent by their father, who is a priest in Midian, Ruel, that's his name. And when Moses came into contact with them, these women who were coming to tend their flock were attacked by the Egyptians. And Moses, being passionate about delivering the people of Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, he decided to rescue these women. And when they did that, they were so grateful and went home and told their father. And their father said, why don't you invite this man to come and have dinner with us? And as he came, Moses was given a gift. So the, high, the priest of Midian, who is Ruel, gave Moses one of his daughters called Zipporah. Hallelujah. So Moses' wife, as recorded in the Bible, is called Zipporah. Hallelujah. And because he was, has now become part of the family of Ruel, the Bible makes us understand from when you read chapter 3, from chapter 3, it says that, and Moses went down to verse 1. 3 verse 1. It says that Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law. Hallelujah. The high priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the desert. And came to Herod, the mountain of God. Hallelujah. He came to Herod, the mountain of God. Beloved, this morning, as you have come to meet God, this is Herod, the mountain of God. Hallelujah. And verse 2, it says that, There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. 
A strange thing happened all of a sudden when Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law. And Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. Hallelujah. What an interesting sight. It says that he saw a bush burning, but the, burn, the burning bush wasn't consumed by the fire. The burning bush wasn't consumed by the fire. Beloved, this tells us that whatever situation that we are going through, beloved, that situation wouldn't consume you. Hallelujah. Oh, do you believe that whatever situation you are going through, this morning I'm here to tell you that that situation is not going to consume you. Because God, our Father, is in that situation with you. Hallelujah. So Moses saw the burning bush, and though the burning bush was on fire, it wasn't consumed. Because that was God himself. Hallelujah. God himself was that burning bush. And he appeared to Moses, and he told Moses that, let's read verse 3. And Moses thought, I will go and see this strange sight. Hallelujah. Oh, your, your situation and your, your, your peculiar uh, problem, is, 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 you think it's a strange one. Hallelujah. But let's see what happens here. It says that, why is the bush not burning up? Have you asked yourself that even though you are being troubled, you are, being, you, are, you, are, you are facing all kinds of issues, you are still alive. Hallelujah. Have you asked yourself that question? That no matter the circumstance that you face, even in this 2020 pandemic. Beloved, the other day I was telling uh, the people of Antioch that uh, 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 if you look critically and you want to analyze this year 2020, you will be able to give the required amount of gratitude and thanksgiving to the Most High God. Because I brought the attention to the fact that the thousands of people that are dead, they are not only unbelievers, hallelujah. They are saved people, Holy Ghost uh, 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 baptized, speaking in tongues, paying tight, but they are also gone. But why is that you and I are still alive? Have you asked yourself that question? It is something profound to note about the year 2020. That the people that are dying, I don't know whether we are nearing one million in the whole year, in the, in, in the, in the, in the whole world. But I know definitely that all the people that are dying, just like that, they are not only unbelievers. People who have faith in God. People who are born again. People who are paying tight. People who are building churches for God. Who are championing the cause of the kingdom. They are gone. But you and I, hallelujah, we are still counted among the living. Oh, isn't that a good place to clap for the most high God? Hallelujah. So Moses thought that this trade site, I got to get close to it and see what is up there. Hallelujah. Verse 4. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called him from within the bush. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, wherever you are, I pray that God will call you. Hallelujah. I pray that God will call you by your name. Hallelujah. And he says that Moses, and he said that here I am. Verse 5. It says, do not come any closer. God said, take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is a holy ground. Hallelujah. The place where you are standing is a holy ground. Beloved, this morning, as you have come to God, you have come to meet the most holy God. Hallelujah. The one who has the ability to save. Amen. The one who has the ability to save. Let's look at what verse 6 says. He says, then he said, I am the God of your fathers. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Hallelujah. 
At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Hallelujah. And verse 7 says that, and the Lord said, oh, and the Lord said in verse 7, it says that, Moses, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. Beloved, this morning God is telling you that he has seen what you are going through. Hallelujah. You are not in it alone. You are not in it alone. You are not in that situation alone. Sometimes things don't work out so much that you feel like you are alone all by yourself in this big world. The world all of a sudden becomes so small. When you turn around, you can't turn. Hallelujah. Because the world is closing in on you. But thanks be to God this morning. That God is telling us that he has seen our suffering. He has seen our misery. He has seen the disappointment that we have faced throughout the years. Hallelujah. And then he said that I have heard them cry out because of their slave drivers. Beloved, what is driving you crazy? Hallelujah. What situation doesn't make you sleep even well at night? What situation is causing you to weep all night long? Hallelujah. Oh, I'm here to tell you that the Bible says that weeping will last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. Oh, if you believe that, shout a big amen. If you weep and weep throughout the night, beloved, if a new day is dawn, the Bible is telling us that joy will come in the morning. Joy will come in the morning. I pray wherever you are, whatever you are facing, whether the, the year has closed in on you, whether things have not gone well, I pray to God that as you weep and you weep and you are crying to God, as he has promised that he has heard us, may joy come to you right now, wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus. God told Moses, I have seen the misery of my people in Egypt. That means that God has recognized his people. This morning, God has recognized you. Hallelujah. That's very situation that you cannot tell anybody. God said that he has indeed seen that situation. That situation that causes you to, to weep. And that situation that causes you to cry. Hallelujah. He said that your crying has reached me. Hallelujah. Your crying has reached me. Your cry has reached me. That means that we have caught the attention of the most high God. We have caught the attention of the Most High God. And then he says that what? I am concerned about their suffering. Come on. What a word of assurance. It says that I have not only seen your misery, neither have I only heard your, 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 your suffering, but he says that what? I am concerned. Hallelujah. Oh, you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. God says that he is concerned about you this morning. Oh, you didn't believe that. You didn't believe that. God is telling us this morning that he has not only seen our misery, neither has he only heard our suffering, but he is concerned about us. Hallelujah. Beloved, this morning God is saying that he's concerned about you. He's concerned about you and I. He is concerned. That means that his heart is beaten because of us. His heart is beaten because of us. In verse 8, he says that, So I have come down to rescue them from the land of the Egyptians. Hallelujah. Oh, Oh, I don't think you cut, you cut that. You cut that. He says that what? God says that. Look at, look at, follow me closely. He says that what? I have seen your misery. I have heard your suffering. I am concerned. Not only that, but I am coming down. Hallelujah. Beloved, this morning, may God come down into your situation. 
May God come down to rescue you. Hallelujah. May the most high God come down to rescue you. Says that I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians. And to bring them out, up out of that land into a good and a spacious land. Hallelujah. He says that I am bringing them out of that land. Beloved, this morning, God is saying that he's bringing us out of that misery. He's bringing us out of that problem. Hallelujah. That health problem, that, that, that immigration problem, that uh, 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 court case that you have, that, that bad report that you have received, that, that, uh, uh, that job situation, that financial situation, that marriage problem. Hallelujah. Beloved, he says that, Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Beloved, say enough is enough. God is saying that enough is enough. My people have suffered enough. Now, they are crying and their misery has caught my attention. Oh, I pray that this morning your, your, your misery, your misery, your misery, your suffering and that problem, that disappointment will reach heaven. Hallelujah. So they were still having a discourse. Moses, the great prophet of God and God himself, talking to him from a strange place, the burning bush. Hallelujah. The burning bush. What a way to introduce and appear to the child of God. What a way. Hallelujah. Moses, as he was tending the flock, didn't expect that he would come and meet a strange sight he didn't expect that he would have an encounter with the Most High God. Sometimes in our situation, in our misery, we think, like, we, we think that God is far away. Hallelujah. But this morning, I'm here to tell you that God is very close to you. He's near to you. He's near to you. Hallelujah. What a way to show up. What a way to show up. Oh, sometimes we, 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 we get perplexed. Sometimes we, we, we are faced with so many things that we think that, oh, this is a situation that is going to kill me. But I'm here to tell you that that situation is not going to kill you. Hallelujah. It's not going to kill you because God will show up at the right time. He will show up at the right time. He's neither too late or too early. Hallelujah. If only you know that you have come to a great God. The king of kings, the lord of law, he will show up at the right time. He will indeed show up at the right time. I want to go back a little bit. This site that Moses encountered, the burning bush, is an interesting sight. An interesting sight. A way where God appeared to his people. And when I was thinking and pondering over it, I was like, wow. This indeed tells us of the nature of our God. The Bible makes us understand that he is a consuming fire. A consuming fire. And this morning I pray that whatever is chasing you, whatever is, is, is attacking you, whatever has become a stumbling block, may the consuming fire of the Most High God Consume it. Hallelujah. And when I was sitting at this very verse, pondering over this strange sight, and then the Holy Ghost took me to the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego experienced the same encounter. Hallelujah. A similar one, if I should put it that way. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in a strange land and a decree had gone forth. And knowing the God that they have come to serve, they know that one thing I like so much because of time, we, we can't read that. It's in Daniel chapter 3. We cannot read that. But one interesting thing that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were saying to challenge the great king Nebuchadnezzar is that we have heard your decree. We have seen people bow down. 
But as for us, as for us, hallelujah. But as for us, hallelujah. We are not going to bow down to your image, hallelujah. Because we have a great God who created the gold that you use in creating that image, hallelujah. So why should we bow down to the creation other than the, 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 the creature himself, hallelujah. The creator himself, if you will. Why should we bow down to the, 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 the creation of the creator rather than the creator himself? So even as they were saying, one thing that, that, that is so profound is that they said that even though our God don't save us, hallelujah, even though our God don't come to save us, oh, we are not going to bow down, hallelujah. Beloved, I pray this morning that whatever you are going through, don't bow down to Nebuchadnezzar, hallelujah. Don't bow down to the pressures of this world, hallelujah. Because help is coming away. Help is coming on the way, hallelujah. Help is coming on the way. Let's look at what happened to the, the boys. The three boys that refused to bow down. The Bible says that as they refused, they suffered the consequence. The consequences of not bowing down to the image that Nebuchadnezzar put down is that you'll be thrown into a furnace, a burning furnace. Hallelujah. Oh, but when these boys were thrown into the furnace... Beloved, when these boys were thrown into the furnace, the Bible makes us understand that even the soldiers that were throwing them into the furnace, the, the fire was so heated up that these soldiers were consumed by the fire. But when they were thrown into the fire, these three boys, the three boys changed to, 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 four, to four images in the, in the burning bush. Hallelujah. This tells us that the fourth man appeared. Hallelujah. The fourth man, which is our Lord God appeared, hallelujah. I pray that whatever situation you find yourself, even as you don't bow down to the image of Nebuchadnezzar, may the fourth man appear, may the fourth man appear in your situation, hallelujah. The fourth man appeared. And they were looking at it and Nebuchadnezzar said, this is a strange sight. Beloved, let your situation give glory to God, Hallelujah. It is an opportunity for God's glory to be seen in your life. Hallelujah. The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous. Oh, but the Lord our God delivers them from them all. Hallelujah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. He didn't say many are the afflictions of the unsaved. He says that it is only the righteous that will go through what you are going through. Hallelujah. But because of the name of the Lord our God, because of the glory that is, he, he is due him, we have to go through that. Then when he rescues us of it, oh, everybody will see his glory. Hallelujah. May your situation give glory to God this morning. Somebody, may your situation give glory to God. Hallelujah. May your situation give glory to God. What a strange sight. The Bible says that the part that I like so much about these boys was that, guess what? That situation that you are going through is not going to eat you up. That situation that you think all hope is gone. That situation that you think that when you turn, there's no space. Disappointment upon disappointment. Issues of life upon issues of life. Sometimes you think that you are I'm in this all by myself. Beloved, I'm here to tell you that this situation will not consume you. Hallelujah. And look at something strange, another strange thing that happened. When you read Daniel, the third chapter, because of time, I'll read quickly. It says that Nebuchadnezzar from the 26th verse, says that Nebuchadnezzar then approached these boys because he has seen something strange. He says that opening the blazing fire furnace, he shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servant of the Most High God, come out. When they came out, so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of this fire. And the subtraps, the, pre the prefects, the governors, and the royal advisors crowded around them. They saw, this is, 
very, this is the part that I want you to, to, to pay attention. It says that they saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies. Hallelujah. It says that it has not harmed their bodies. There was no hair of, on their heads that sinked. Their ropes were not scorched. And there was no smell of fire on them. Hallelujah. This is what our God can do. Hallelujah. He's bringing you out. Hallelujah. And when you allow him to bring you out, beloved, when the glory of God is seen, oh, people will marvel and say that this indeed is the doing of the Lord and it's marvelous in us. Somebody shout a big amen. This is indeed the doing of the Lord. Beloved, that situation is not going to take you away. It's not going to consume and suck you in. Stay in it and trust in the Most High God. His ability to save. Why would you go into a furnace and not burn? It is awkward. It is only the God that we serve that can do that. That situation, that cancer that was supposed to kill you, the story and the narrative was turned around. Hallelujah. May your story be turned around this morning. Hallelujah. Going back to Exodus, the, chap the third chapter, on verse 8. We are almost about to be done. Verse 8. It says that, so I'll come down to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptians. To bring them out of the land, of that land, that problem, and get them into a good and spacious land. Hallelujah. Beloved, God is not only bringing you out, He's taking you to an, 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 a, 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 a precious place. Hallelujah. He's taking you to a precious place. The Bible says that. The land that God is taking his people is a good land and a spacious land. A good land and a spacious land. Oh, I pray that you will come to that place in your life. Hallelujah. That good and spacious land, you will come to that place in your life. And it says that it is not only good and spacious, but it is flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. That means that it is only the goodness and mercies of the Lord that will follow you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. It says that milk and honey, milk and honey signifies, is standing in, in our dispensation, good things. Hallelujah. Good things. And then it says that, and the land flow with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, Hivite, and the Jebusite. And verse 9. Verse 9, I'll run quickly because of our time. It says that, and now the cry of the Israelites had reached me. This is God speaking here. And I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. Verse 10, and it says that, so now go, I am sending you, Pharaoh, I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Hallelujah. Beloved, in our time, in our dispensation, God is not sending Moses again. Hallelujah. Oh, God is using the blood of the precious son of God. Hallelujah. The blood of his son, Jesus Christ. The name of his son, Jesus Christ. And the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This is the three weapons that God is using to rescue you and I from our situation. Hallelujah. And verse 11, it says, but Moses said to God, who am I? That you should go, that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt. Verse 12. And God said, I will be with you. Hallelujah. Beloved, God will be with you. Hallelujah. If you will have the name of the Lord approaching your situation, even as you, you pray to God, even as you, 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 are, you are expecting God to come, or you want to appropriate the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, and deliverance and help will come your way. In our dispensation, he's not sending Moses anymore. 
He's already done the work. Hallelujah. He says that don't fear, for I am with you. And this will be a sign to you that it is I who have sent you. You, when you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship the God on this mountain. Hallelujah. Beloved, when God has done it for you, hallelujah. Oh, God is asking for his gratitude. Hallelujah. You don't want to forget what God has done for you. Verse 13. It says, Moses said to God, suppose I go to the, to the Israelites and say to them, the God of our fathers has sent me to you. And they ask, who is this? What is his name? Then you shall say, verse 14. Listen here, beloved. God said to Moses, tell the people that I am who I am. Hallelujah. What an audacity our God has. Hallelujah. He has every right to say he is who he is. Hallelujah. He says that tell my people that I am who I am has sent you. This morning, I am who I am is here to save. He's here to deliver you and I. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. I am has sent me to you. Beloved, this morning, God is not sending Moses anymore. He has done the work already on the cross through his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The three things that we can rely on in our dispensation is the name of the Lord. The blood, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. Even as you stand on your feet right now, as we bring our message to an end, we want to enter into a time of prayer. God has assured us this morning that he has not forgotten about us. Hallelujah. He hasn't forgotten about us. That means that we are not in this situation alone. He is in it with us. Hallelujah. He is in that situation with us. That situation that has become a stumbling block. We are praying that every limitation be taken off. Every embargo be lifted. May every bondage be broken. Hallelujah. May every slavery be aborted. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mandalabasuki andalabaya. Maleke libre kalu talabaya. Beloved, this morning I pray that may the name of God, may the name of God, may the name of God, the God of our Father, the God that we have come to save, He says that tell my people that I am has sent you, has sent me to you. Hallelujah. Beloved, I don't know what situation you are going through this morning. I don't know what how how 2020 has become for you everybody have their own story to tell i always say that 2020 is only is not only the strange year that we have encountered but before 2020 we had already pending issues that we brought to 2020 hallelujah we all, we had pending issues already that we brought to 2020 i don't know what you are going through i don't know what has become what has become an issue for you what has become a bondage for you this morning may every bondage be broken hallelujah oh even as you stand on your feet beloved this morning god is saying that i am ready to rescue you i am ready to deliver you from your misery may every limitation be lifted hallelujah beloved we are at the place of god the mountain of the lord this morning anything can happen hallelujah wherever you are watching us from the comfort of your home you want to stand in faith and trust in the power of the name of the lord it says that the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous run to it and are saved oh you want to lift up prayer 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 pray may every limitations 
be lifted. May every embargo be lifted. May every embargo be lifted. May every bondage be broken. Let the boss. Mandala le le bes, le kebrosi antalabaya, shandala le le bes, mandela le bos, rata katalabaya, mandala basun de le le be, hinde le bosuri antalabaya, hekete le le be. Beloved, we have come to the Lord. We have come to the mountain of the Lord this morning. We have come to the mountain of the Lord. Oh, where anything can happen, where destinies are changed. When lives are transformed, when destinies are turned around, when narratives are turned around, when bad stories are turned to good stories, beloved, this morning, you want to lift up prayer. Bring that peculiar need before God, that particular situation. You don't want to sit down quiet. You don't want to be mute. This morning, you want to say something to the God of our fathers. Lay kaba bawos, man delele base. Lay ketele base, ma mali basun delele base. He kabo sandala baya, sandala baya bale andele base. Lay ketele base, he delele basun yandala base. He kaba bawos, man delele base. Lay ketele base, lay ketele base, sandala basun delele base. Ma katala baya, randala baya. Beloved, pray, 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 lift up prayer. May every embargo be lifted, every limitation taken off, may every bondage be broken. This morning, our God is ready to rescue us. He's ready to rescue us. He's ready to change our story. He's ready to change our story. He's ready to change our story. La kapa le kete lebe, mande le le lebe, le kete lebe, hinda la babo, hinda la babo babo, le kebrosi hinda la babo, hinda la babo babo, hinda lebe, hinda la babo hinda lebe, mande la babo babo babo, le kebrosi hinda la babo, le kete lebe, hinda la babo babo, hinda la babo, hinda la babo hinda la babo, le kete lebe. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Manda la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba, Manda la 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 ba, Manda la ba ba, He come on, Shanda la ba la, Rakata ta la, In the mighty name of Jesus, In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Listen, listen, listen. God told Moses that. I have heard the mis- I have seen the misery of my people. God has seen your misery this morning. He said, I heard their cry. He, he has heard our cry. He says that he is coming down to rescue. That tells us that God is ready to perform. Hallelujah. He is ready to perform. He is ready to perform. If only you allow him, wherever you are, as you are watching us, those of us here, God is ready to perform. He's ready to change the narrative. Hallelujah. He's ready to turn that story around. Le Kaba. May every bondage be broken. Hallelujah. May every limitation be lifted off. May every embargo be lifted off. Hallelujah. We are going to pray our last prayer. But listen carefully. This is very crucial. One thing that slowed down the, 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 the promise of God for his people was lack of faith. Hallelujah. God rescued them all right, but he told Moses at the burning bush that I'm not, going, I'm not only going to rescue you out of the hands of your enemies, but I am taking you to a place of 
goodness and a spacious land. Hallelujah. He's taking us to a place of good. Hallelujah. But we all know the story. Because of memory and lack of faith in the ability of God to take them out of their misery and bring them in to the place of rest was lack of faith. Hallelujah. Maybe it is your time for God to turn that story around. But guess what? Our faith and our, our attitude will determine whether God will be timely, hallelujah, in bringing us to the place of rest. This morning, we, we need to have an extraordinary faith, hallelujah. Because we are dealing with an extraordinary situation. We want to pray one more time. The, the God of our fathers, our most high God, should increase our faith. Hallelujah. Oh, lift our prayer right now. Lift our prayer. Let God stir your faith up this morning. Let God stir your faith up this morning. He is ready to rescue you and I from our misery. From our misery. Oh, beloved, your faith is being increased right now. Oh, beloved, you are being rescued. You are coming out. You are coming out. Let your faith speak. Let your faith come alive. Let your faith come alive. Let your faith come alive. Let your faith come alive this morning. Let your faith come alive. Let your faith come alive this morning. Let your faith come alive. Let your faith come alive. Mandala basu nyelebe. Rata tata lava yelebe. Reke telebe. Reke telebe. Mandala basu nyelebe. Rata lava yelebe. Mandala lava yelebe. Reke telebe. Mandala basu nyelebe. Let your faith come alive. Let your faith come alive this morning. Let your faith come alive. Mandala lava yelebe. Mandala lava yelebe. In the of Jesus. Beloved, listen here. When God was sending Moses, he sent Moses as an instrument. He says that when you are going, Take my name, my name, my name, my name, my name. I am that I am. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And when we run to it, when we run to it, we'll be saved. Hallelujah. In our dispensation, beloved, in our dispensation, we have the name of Jesus Christ. We have the blood of Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. These things God gave us in times of problems, in times of, of, of difficulties. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, this morning I want to encourage you. Do not, do not do anything besides using the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a strong tower. When you run to the name of Jesus, salvation is yours. The blood of Jesus breaking every bondage, taking off every embargo and limitation. The Holy Ghost will comfort you. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost will comfort you. I know my time is up, but please bear with me. Give me one minute. I'll be done. There's this song that, as I was preparing this message, came under my radar, and I'd like us to sing it for the next 30 seconds or so. <clears throat> it says that there is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There is power in the name of Jesus. And the power in the name of Jesus breaks every chain. Hallelujah. Oh, there is power Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in 
in the name of Jesus to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Oh, there is power. There is power. Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain, chain, break every chain, every chain, break every chain, 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 Father Lord, we want to thank you, O oh God. Father, this morning we have come before you once again. Father, we have come before you, O oh God. Your word of assurance is that, Lord, you are ready to rescue us from every misery. You are ready to break every chain. You are ready to lift every embargo. You are ready to, to abort every slavery that we are in. Father, this morning, we want to rely and trust in your name. Your name, your name, your name, your name. Because there's power in your name. We want to trust in your blood because there's power in your blood. We want to rely on the ability of the Holy Ghost to bring us comfort. Because there's power in the Holy Ghost to break every chain to break every chain we are praying oh God that may every embargo be lifted may every limitations be taken off and may every bondage be broken because we have used your name your blood and the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Amen break every chain break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, there is power, there is power in the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, it's time to give unto the Lord. When our elder was talking, he said, God appeared to Moses and said, The cry of my people have ascended to heaven, and I have come down to deliver them. The cry of my people has come up to heaven. The cry. When our sister Tio was leading, leading us in worship, she quoted from the book of Psalm, Psalm uh, chapter 107. The verse says, says, the cry, they cry unto God. They cry unto God. And God came down to deliver them. I saw some connection here. From the scripture that our elder based his message on, God told Moses that the cry of the people have ascended to heaven. When our sister was leading us in worship, Psalm 107 verse says, they cry unto the Lord in the time of trouble. And God came down to, to deliver them. When you jump to verses 8 of Psalm 107, he says, let them pay their thanks unto the Lord. Let them give their thanks unto the Lord. Psalm 107 verse 8. Verse 8. Let them give thanks to the Lord. Beloved, a lot is going on. People are dying. People are, have been admitted in ICU. Trouble, trouble, problems, whole lot is going on. But the Lord has delivered you because you cry unto him. Verse 8 says, let them pay their thanks. We are in a month of thanksgiving. We, I'm not talking. I'm not going to talk about tithe. We know the tithe already, so I know we are ready to bring your tithe to the Lord. But also, don't forget to give your thanks to God Almighty. Let them give thanks to the Lord for what He has done for you, and then the Lord God will see you through. May His name be praised as you have obeyed to do so. May you be blessed. Amen.
shall praise your name. All nations shall praise your name. All nations shall praise your name. All nations shall praise your name. this song and I want to share. Amen. It is in tree and it goes like this. Midi oja beji wu na ma ye wu hun sentre ni na ma ma me ni na hun se mi yo nyame Midi oja beji wu Ama ye wo hu sentre ni o ama ameni na hu se yo nyame ano pe mi dio ja be ji wo ama ye wo hu sentre ni o ama ama ameni na hu se yo nyame yo nyame Eri besi ene mi yo nyame finura edi kosi da pe enu ti mi dio ja bajiwo na ma ya wo sentre ni ama ama meni na mu se mi yo nyame besi mi yo nyame Yo ja baji wo na ma ya wo sentreni ama ama meni na se amen so our lord the consuming fire will settle every situation with that fire amen The book of Psalm, the chapter 145, the verses 1 to 3. I will exalt you, my God and King, and praise your name forever and ever. I will praise you every day. Yes, I will praise you forever. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. No one can measure to his greatness. Beloved, truly our God is great and greater 
than all. This morning, God bless you for making it into this very place and tuning in into his presence. Please, let's pay attention for the following announcements. We are going to be embarking on the long-awaited National Holy Ghost Encounter Week. All week, we will be meeting 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. for our morning devotion. In our evening times, 8.30 p.m. for Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. On Wednesday and Thursday, we will meet in the afternoon at 12 noon. So please, let's take note of the change in Wednesday and Thursday meetings. The time will be 12 noon, not 8.30 p.m. On Saturday, there will be no meeting and all are encouraged to spend time with family. And then, of course, on Sunday, we will come back together and then worship the Lord in in his sanctuary by tuning in to our Facebook and our YouTube. Please, Sunday service will be streamed live. We encourage all to stay at home but tune in and enjoy service with us us please this saturday just to backtrack this saturday at 5 p.m we're going to be having our virtual thanksgiving service our virtual thanksgiving service so please do not miss out do not miss out this event is going to be a glorious time of praise and worship this event is also going to be streamed live on our facebook and then our youtube as well upcoming events we have our christmas convention coming off on december 17th to the 20th december 17th to the 20th we are all encouraged to come together even as we remember the birth of the man who has given us the life that we have. God bless us so much for making it for this morning's service. God bless you for your time and for your availability. Even as you go through the week, may you be blessed beyond measure and may the great I am God be with you, favoring you all through and through. Have a wonderful week and a glorious rest of the day. God bless you.
may he hear your cry from heaven and come down from heaven to deliver you. May this be your blessing as you give him. May God Almighty give it to you now and forever. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to the live worship service of Oakland District. We invite you to like, subscribe, and share our YouTube and Facebook pages. And when it is safe to do so, please come and visit us at our Central Assembly here in Martinez, California, or our Antioch Assembly in Antioch, California, both located in Northern California. If you would like to contact us for additional information, have a prayer request, or simply need someone to talk to, please contact us at the phone number below. Thank you so much and God richly bless you. See you again next Sunday.